presidential election 2017, contest versus consensus on selecting a presidential candidate. Who conducts the election to the office of President of India? How is presidential election conducted? Why indirect election of president was supported by the framers of Indian constitution? GS Paper 2, Indian Polity, President What is the context about? The 15th presidential election scheduled to be held on July 17 this year will see a contest. Political parties may be in hectic huddles to forge a consensus for the upcoming presidential poll, but history shows that all presidential polls, barring one, in India have seen a contest, some keen, most a walkover. Of the 14 presidential elections held in the country so far, the only one which saw a candidate getting elected without a contest was the seventh poll, which Nailam Sanjeeva Reddy won unopposed. Who conducts the election to the office of President of India? Under Article 324 of the Constitution of India, the authority to conduct elections to the office of President is vested in the Election Commission of India. How is presidential election conducted? The president is elected by an electoral college consisting of elected members of both houses of parliament and the state legislative assemblies. Members of the state legislative councils are excluded from participating in president's election. In the electoral college each member has one vote though the value of each vote is different from one state to the other. Likewise, the value of vote of the members of parliament also differs from the value of vote of the members of a legislative assembly. Indirect election is resorted to because president is supposed to be a nominal titular, head of the state acting on the advice of council of ministers headed by the prime minister. Why indirect election of president was supported by the framers of Indian constitution? Indirect election of president gives recognition to the status of the states in the federal system. The system of indirect election was criticized by some as falling short of the democratic ideal underlying universal franchise, but indirect election of president was supported by the framers of the constitution the following grounds. 1. Direct election by an electorate of some 1 billion of people would mean a tremendous loss of time, energy and money. 2. Under the system of responsible government introduced by the constitution, real power would vest in the ministry, so, it would be anomalous to elect the president directly by the people without giving him real powers.